Hey everybody, this is Katesuk, and what I want to demonstrate today is a quick and easy way to put together a podcast using Audacity. As you may or may not be able to see here on my desktop, I have three separate audio files. One for the intro to my poorly done podcast, the main section of it, and the outro. So start up Audacity, go to Project and Import Audio, and you can select them individually or all at the same time. I'm going to do all of them. Now here each track, each file shows up as an individual track in the window. I'm going to go to view and zoom out to be able to fit it all there. Now first things first, you're going to want to line everything up. In the cases of different people's voices, you know, you can listen to it to figure out where everything goes or have everyone start at the same time. That's usually a good bit easier. Use the uh, time shift tool. The connected arrows in the top left to slide your tracks around. I'm just going to kind of do this quickly. Now you can see at the end, the beginning of each track is a little bit of silence that might lead to an awkward pause during your particular recording. The way to get rid of that is to use the selection tool and select the parts that you want to delete. You may have to hold shift and click on the track's little gray box to see exactly what you're getting out of both tracks. So here the silence is selected. I can go to edit and cut and it disappears. Now this line that shows up you can use the slider tool to put it exactly where you need it to go. Let me go ahead and do this for the end part here. And there we go. All right, now that everything is in line, the next thing you probably want to do is check individual volume levels. Since these are all me on the recording, they should sound all the same, but I'll check it regardless. Hey everybody, this is Kzuck, and welcome to the Kzuck Podcast. So today I woke up, I drank some coffee, played a few video games, and then I went to work. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed my podcast. Later, guys. There you have it. Now, if any individual track is a little too low volume or high volume, you can use the volume slider on the left of each individual track. Also, I use sometimes the, um, I guess you could say like a pan tool, basically to make a special arrangement within the track. I use this because some of our cast members apparently have similar voices. In this case, I can put one person on the left-hand side and the other on the right. This way, whenever someone is listening to the podcast, they can distinguish between the two different voices based on which ear they're hearing it in. Again, not necessary with this, and you probably won't be able to tell with my camera's microphone anyway. Any severe peaks in the track can be fixed with an equalizer. You can see here at the start, I probably got a pop in my microphone. If you want to get rid of something like that, you can select it and go to Effect and Equalization. This is kind of hit or miss, but basically you're going to want to take off the, the top end of the track, which can be accomplished like so. Normally this will take out most of the pop. As you can see, it has. And you can just listen to that individual bit while it's selected if it helps. Hey, everybody. There you go. To have a fade in for the beginning, if you have music or your own little kind of intro, just select what you want to have faded in, go to Effect, and Fade In. It does all the work for you. You can't really see here, but it will have a peak going to the right. Fade out is much the same, and you just go to Effect and Fade Out. Anything that is any unwanted noise between parts of the track, if you have a dog barking in the background, or someone breathing a little too loudly, you can select individual parts. I'll select the beginning of this track, and go to Generate and Silence. Since you have it selected, the length is already entered, and you just hit Generate Silence, and it flatlines it. This is essentially all I do whenever I make a podcast. There are a few other tweaks, and you can play around with the various effects they have, but the overall mix should just be clear for everyone, which is the hardest part for me, and concise, which is apparently the hardest part for everyone else. But once you have it finished, like I do here, just go to Export as Wave, or if you have the plugin, you can export as an MP3, and save it. Then use your favorite audio conversion program to turn it into an MP3, 
and post it to your website, iTunes, or whatever it is you use.